I'm a savage. Classy, bougie, ratchet. Yeah. Sassy, moody, hey, nasty. Hey. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 SNL musical guests of the century so far. For this list, we'll be looking at the most memorable, groundbreaking, and all-around best musical guests who have showcased their talents on this generation-defining variety show. We're considering artists who have appeared on Saturday Night Live from the year 2000 until now. We'll be judging them on the merit of their performances and on how well they've stood out amongst the treasure trove of troubadours who've made a stop at 30 Rockefeller Plaza. Which megastar was your favorite Saturday Night Special? Tell us in the comments below. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to check out the full song at the link below. Number 10. Bruno Mars and Mark Ronson Let's kick things off with our sunglasses and fedoras on. The multi-talented dance child of Michael Jackson and Powerline has illuminated SNL with his personality as a host and as a musical guest. And he's killed it at both. Now, I was the musical guest two years ago, but tonight is the first time I'm doing both. I'm doing the host and the musical guest. While 24 Karat Magic got the whole soundstage on its feet, it's his and Mark Ronson's presentation of Uptown Funk that punched a hole in the fabric of our memories. Bruno and his boys electrify the stage with cool and coordinated marionette-like dance moves, and Ronson complements the fun with his chill posture and funky guitar sound. The hit has since bulldozed weddings and cellophane floors worldwide, but the Michelle Pfeiffer gold that it struck all started here. Number 9. Kendrick Lamar Straight out of Compton, California came Kendrick Lamar, bringing away with syllables and something important to say. He's widely considered one of the greatest rappers of his generation, and his SNL tour provides an upscale sampling of why. Appearing twice, he's been a revelation at serving up experimental hip-hop with a side of soul, performing swimming pools and poetic justice alongside full jazz bands. He really makes a sonic boom with his rendition of I, where the horns, rhythm, and beats seem to possess his entire body. If you're not watching, the magic made by his unpredictable twitches might be lost in the translation of your Beats headphones. It's spectacular rap for the ages and a performance that's likely to be long talked about. Number 8. Rihanna Robin Rihanna Fenty has been a mainstay of the music scene since nearly the century's beginning, and her talent has only ripened with age. Her SNL resume is dotted with fearlessly confident showstoppers, like her season 40 closer, Bitch Better Have My Money. When her attitude and impressive vocals aren't outshining elaborate sets and choreography, she's aiming at our hearts and minds with soliloquies like Stay and American Oxygen. Breathing, feeling, American, American Oxygen. Never scared of a high note, Rihanna commits to the character of each song until the applause, when she usually gives way to an adoring smile of childish delight. No matter how huge her image gets, she always has fun performing, and we love her for it. Number 7. Miley Cyrus Who'd have thought that Hannah Montana would grow up to give us a sultry rendition of 50 Ways to Leave Your Lover? Miley Cyrus matured into quite the cover queen this century, starting with her on-point take on Jolene. Jolene. Jolene, 
on SNL, she's reinvented classics by legends like Paul Simon, Pink Floyd, and John Lennon. When the pandemic hit, she remotely delivered Wish You Were Here, a vocally powerful solo with an emotional resonance of the times. Or did you exchange a walk on part in the war? She's one of the most versatile guest entertainers, putting rasp in exactly the right notes in Wrecking Ball, and then swinging like a golden age jazz diva for Plastic Hearts. Miley has grown up alongside the 2000s, and we got to see it on the SNL stage. Number 6. Yay! Whatever your opinions of Kanye West, the mogul can sure put on a show. He always checks his ego at the stage door, performing every set like it's meant to be his greatest ever, not just another paycheck. Somewhere far along this road, he lost his soul to a woman so hardly. While we shouldn't forget his more personal offerings like Heartless and Pinocchio Story, we can't forget firestorms like Black Skinhead, where echoes of his melodically arranged yet thunderous beats deafened the studio walls. Watching Kanye is like watching slam poetry with an adrenaline shot. His words can be insightfully political, religious, or personal, while still raising a studio audience to its feet. Somebody teddy, who Kanye West I walked through the valley of the shower with that ear. He's got the heart of a poet, as long as it's charged with a few hundred thousand volts. Number 5. Childish Gambino Donald Glover, known in the music world by stage name Childish Gambino, only needed one appearance on Saturday Night Live to make our list. After warming up with the fluttery fun Saturday, Glover dropped the mic with a standout recital of his politically charged This Is America. Complete with school uniform garbed backup dancers and a shirtless Donald, the interlude magnetized eyeballs to the screen with extraordinary lightning quick choreography. Yeah, yeah, I'ma go with the whoop. Yeah, yeah, I'ma go get the bed. Yeah, yeah, or I'ma get the bed. Glover's words describe some frightening scenarios in a tone that bounces between lyrical dissonance and disturbingly deadpan. Bigotry and gun violence in the United States are prevalent parts of history, and this is a strong step to the microphone, likely to be fossilized in the story of American free speech. Number 4. Taylor Swift Ed Sullivan showed us the Beatles, and SNL showcased Taylor Swift. She was just a rising star when she first appeared, but she put on Love Story with the Shakespearean gusto of a music icon to be. She returned multiple times with pieces penned by an older Taylor, like Lover and False God. In 2021, she erupted with an SNL record 10-minute performance of All Too Well, slamming every chord like she knew she was making history. She incorporates some pop star-like outstretched arms, a fun little headbang, and a firm standing finish at the microphone. It's like she's presenting various stages of her life and aging before our very eyes. We might someday see this playing as she accepts her Lifetime Achievement Award. Number 3. Prince Anything touched by Prince deserves a place on a WatchMojo list. His 2006 SNL showing marked a record 24 years since his last visit to the show, and the artist once again known as Prince was ready to bring it. He rocked the house with fury, never shying away from an opportunity to insert a crazy guitar fill. When the music's over, your ears ring. With a voice of saying, Queen, got no care. He was also the first guest to perform a single set, stretching an unforgettable medley of numbers, including Clouds and Another Love. Tragically, this was Prince's last time on SNL, but each of his appearances stack up equally as monumental exhibitions of a rock and roll god. 
anyone who can shred furiously while wiping lips like it's no big deal earns a place among entertainment monoliths. <laughs> Number 2. Billie Eilish Our penultimate prima donna gets a bit topsy-turvy. Billie Eilish hit the scene hard like a funkadelic emo kid with some head-scratching lyrics and devious questions about where we go when we fall asleep. She is one of a kind, and her SNL debut shows just as much. During Bad Guy, Eilish baffled fans when she proceeded to walk and jump upside down along the walls, a seemingly impossible magic trick as brilliant and astounding as a Pepper's ghost illusion. So you're a tough guy, like you really rough guy. Just think you're enough guy. Just a whistle puff guy. She's not all spectacle, though, as she closed beautifully with the wistful, weep-inducing serenade, I love you. She's soon to be the first SNL host born this century, and it's likely that the revolutionary Gen Z creative surprises are only beginning to flower. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. A Tribe Called Quest, a banner honoring the late Fife Dog Stops Hearts. My doors have signs with, don't try to rhyme with, VH1 has a show that you can waste your time with. Saint Vincent, a performance that foreshadows a Grammy win. Robin, a Swedish superstar, rocks out with double drum sets. The Strokes, nobody brings European cool like The Strokes. Foo Fighters, isn't a Dave Grohl set always a killer? It's times like these, learn to live. It's times like these, you give and give again. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Jack White, The White Stripes whether he's performing with his sister, wait, we mean ex-wife, as the White Stripes, or as a solo frontman, Jack White's stints in the 30 Rock studio are pure, uncaged rock. I can tell that we all gonna be friends. I can tell that we all gonna be friends. He's an absolute shred master with his fingers, and he spouts lyrics as ferocious as a rapper with a Telecaster. Days after the death of Eddie Van Halen, he performed Lazaretto with a custom guitar designed by Eddie. White even tapped out Van Halen-style harmonics in the solo, honoring the Goat Axeman. His magnum opus was an instrumentally innovative song medley, laced with expert pedal effects and wah-wah work. You hurt yourself. Every note orchestrated by Jack White under SNL's roof will be remembered as the hurricane that a Seven Nation Army couldn't hold back. Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments. And hey, if you're a fan of the song playing right now, be sure to check out the music video for it right here.